I've been making quite a lot of videos about tram systems so far, so I thought it would be nice to do a video on what I found to be the top 10 best tram systems that I have used in my life so far. It is, of course, my opinion. And I still have a lot to discover, but nevertheless, I guess I already used some of the best systems out there. So before we dive into the list, this is basically where I rate them on. The first criterion is frequency. This is determined by the frequency of the separate lines, but also the surfaces on branches. Which means if a high frequency is reached through interlining, I would be okay with that. The second criterion that I used is coverage. Is it actually serving most of the city, and the most important spots of the city? The third criterion are the vehicles used. Are they of high quality? Do they have low floor? Are they well maintained? And in case if a high floor tram is still in use, are low floor trams also used on the same line? The fourth criterion is ease of use. This is a wide category, but it goes from ticketing, entry of exit of vehicles, can I easily buy one ticket and do not have to worry anymore, etc. The fifth criterion is upkeep and investment. Is the infrastructure properly maintained? And are there new plans for extensions or overhauls, etc. And the last criterion is scenery. How scenic is the network actually? Is it or could it become part of the city fabric? And could it make people care for it? Could it become part of the culture of the city? So for each of these criterion, I give them my opinion-based rating between one and five. If the total score will be equal, I will just make a decision on some unique factor that I particularly like. So as this is my opinion, please also let me know in the comments below what your list will be. But now, let's dive in. We start off with number 10, Vienna, 25 points. That Vienna belongs in the top 10 may not surprise people, but in Vienna the trams are really on the second plan of importance behind the U-Bahn. This results in a network of branches that get served by only one single line, and most of the lines do not come closer to the city center than the ring around it. It is a good system, and it ranks in the top 10, but not my favorite. Number 9. Krakow. 26 points. Here is a city where trams are the main mode of urban public transport. It is definitely one of the better systems out there, although it will also not come much closer than the ring, similar to Vienna. However, unlike Vienna, the network is much more interlined, and nearly every branch is served by multiple routes, which increase the general frequency. On top of that, it sees also much more investments and improvements to the network. Number 8. Gdańsk. 26 points. Gdańsk is quite a bit smaller than the former two cities, but nevertheless it has a good tram system with generally very good frequencies and good coverage. However, it lets down a bit on the scenery, given that you see more apartment buildings and industrial areas and not much of the beautiful old town, but it brings you to beaches. Number 7. Wrocław. 27 points. Initially, I thought the system would not rank this high in my list, but some factors stand out here. Upkeep and investment are some of the most important here, as there's a lot of stuff happening. Besides that, I think the scenery, especially the many crossings over the river Oder, are very nice and add charm. Number 6. The Hague. 27 points. The Hague scores really high on coverage. You simply never have to go far to catch a tram. If the system would have a higher frequency, it would do wonders for its rating. As well as ticket machines in certain locations, especially for tourists. So if you made it this far into the video, you might find other videos that I make also interesting. So to support me, I would like to ask you to leave a like to this video and subscribe to my channel. You will not miss any new video and it will really help me as well. So thanks, and now let's continue with the top 5. Number 5. The Coastal Tram of Belgium. 27 points. Oddly enough, I don't think the Coastal Tram is fully worthy of 5 points for scenery, but that has more to do with the design and architecture of the Belgian coast rather than the tram network itself. It runs only for a slight bit along the coast, but it is really nice anyways. The system is very well maintained, it got recent overhauls, and let's not forget the new CAF Urbos 100s. The fact that it literally covers all of the coastline is worthy of a high score on the coverage too. Number 4. Budapest. 27 points. I find Budapest a truly amazing city. I find the scenery of this tram one of the best on this list. The tram forms really a part of the city's fabric. What it lacks to be truly great? More coverage of certain areas. And making some routes more accessible. I know that there are some routes that solely operate with high floor trams. Which is not the best practice, to say the least. For me, it edges out the rest of the networks with 27 points based on the beautiful old trams made by Gans, as well as the fact that the longest tram in the world operate here. 
Number 3. Helsinki, 29 points. The capital of Finland has an amazing public transport network for its size. The coverage is great, it operates nice trams, and the system has some really nice scenic spots. The sole reason why I could not give it the full points is that at some spots the frequency drops to less than 5 trams per hour on weekdays, and only spots there is no interlining. Number 2. Warsaw, 29 points. It is simply one of the better networks in Europe. It is modern, it seems well maintained, ticketing is easy, trams are modern, and it is one of the sole systems in Europe that runs between proper skyscrapers, making it a little bit more futuristic if you ask me. Before we head to the number one, there's first some dishonorable and honorable mentions here. And let's start out with the dishonorable mention, which is Riga, 70 points. I like the city, but it is sad to mention this, the tram system needs a lot of work. The frequencies on some of the lines in this major city are appalling. Dropping below 2 trams an hour, not even talking about weekend days, when even on the busier lines the frequency drops to 3 trams an hour. Also, low floor trams are only active on 2 lines, while the rest of the lines are only operated by a high floor trams. For a capital like Riga, this is not a good look. But luckily, it seems as if improvements are underway. Extensive maintenance is happening, and the full section is getting upgraded for low floor trams as well. It is a little bit more complicated in the case of Riga, as the tram system has been designed for trolley poles rather than pantographs. So let's hope they improve in the future. Then some honorable mentions. Tallinn, 24 points, and Częstochowa, 23 points. Both cities are on the smaller end, but have tram systems that are run in a fashion where frequencies of 10 trams an hour are not a rarity. Besides that, Tallinn is expanding its network, and Częstochowa just completed the total overall of the network. So, then, finally, my number one. It could only be one system really, one that ticks all boxes. In one of my favorite cities, home to the famous Tatra T3, Prague. It has 30 points, meaning it is frequently operated has a smart night operation. It spans most of the city, even in places where it is more complicated to get to. It expands, it gets investment, the vehicles are amazing, and the tram, especially the T3, became a true part of the city's fabric. Some T3s are also converted to accommodate low floor sections. But for where T3s run with only high floor cars, Prague ensures there are also low floor trams being operated on the same lines, which is a very good practice. So with that, this is my top 10 tram systems that I have used and where I have vivid memories of. Please go wild in the comment sections with your top 10s and let me know why you enjoyed a particular system that much. If you like to see more videos about public transport, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you very much for watching.